Good morning. Welcome to Trading R. I'm Reema Tendulkar. With me is Samara Abdi. Good morning, Samara. We're off from the early morning lows, but things have gotten a bit choppy for our markets in the last 30 minutes. That intraday chart of the Nifty and the Sensex will come up for you on your screen. Currently, we're down about a half a percent on the benchmark indices. Uh, the mid-cap index, though, is holding up in the green right now. By slim margin, but at least it's a green tick on the mid-cap index. It's the banks which are underperforming, not just today, in fact, for the week. So week to date, while the Nifty is down 2.2%, the Nifty Bank is down 3.9%. So there is that underperformance from many of these large-cap banks that you can see so far this week. And what's holding up on the gaining side are many of these pharmaceutical names. So there is the defensive tilt um, in the approach. Uh, Sun Pharma, Dr. Reddy's are amongst the big movers today. IT has been the best performing index this week. The Nifty IT index has rebounded nearly 2% as the rupee com continues to depreciate. So that's a positive. The Nifty IT index up half a percent today, but up 2% for the week so far. And buying is coming through once again in auto names ahead of the festive season. Actually, we're in the midst of the festive season. Um, so we'll get the auto sales numbers on Monday. Um, so that will give us a clearer picture of how the month gone by. But ahead of that, you can see buying coming through in M&M, Tata Motors, Aish Motors, all of them currently in the green. Hi. Hi, Reema. Morning. So let's tell you all that we have lined up for you today. The Nifty and Sensex pair some losses after a gap down opening. Financials and energy are taking a hit, uh, but the defensives are in the green. Midcaps fare a tad better. We'll be joined by Devang Mehta of Centrum Wealth Management to talk about the outlook for the market. On the corporate radar, Sri Renuka Sugars is set to sharply scale up their ethanol production to over 1,200 kilolitres per day by the end of this year. What will this mean in terms of their capacity utilisation, etc.? We'll be joined by Atul Chaturvedi, the executive chairman of Sri Renuka Sugars, in just a short while. Torrent Pharma is a stock under pressure as the street believes they have acquired Curacio Healthcare at an expensive valuation. More details and analysis coming up in a bit. As the dollar continues to hold near its two-decade high and currencies of developed economies plumb to fresh lows, later on we'll put the spotlight on IT companies, their exposure to Europe and the UK and also explain the potential cross-currency impact on these companies. All of this and much more lined up over the next 60 minutes. Uh, let's invite the first corporate on trading hour then. Sri Renuka is joining in. The company is all set to scale up its ethanol production to 1,250 kilolitres per day by December this year versus 720 uh, kilolitres per day of capacity currently. Atul Chaturvedi, the executive chairman of Sri Renuka Sugars, is now joining us on the show. Now, Mr. Chaturvedi, morning and thanks so much for joining in. Uh, could you talk about uh, this um, expansion of your ethanol capacity? You were operating at 100% capacity utilization last year. With this incremental capacity, which is coming on board by December, what could be the utilization and what's the demand that you're seeing for ethanol? Yes, for, let me answer your second question first. The demand for ethanol is uh, sky is the limit as of today. The government of India wants something like about 10.16 billion liters of ethanol by 2025. And against that, they are only getting about 4 billion liters as of today, closer to 4 billion liters. So sky is the limit, <clears throat> and more so because the ramping up of the grain ethanol capacity in the country has probably not kept pace with the expansion as far as the sugar sector is concerned. So as far as the grain is concerned, the ethanol being supplied by the grain sector is only about 13% of the targeted uh, quantity. But sugar is doing all right. And uh, we at Renuka have been punting on uh, uh, ethanol going forward because it's not only green, it's uh, carbon neutral. It helps improve our cash flows. And that's the reason why we're expanding our current capacity from 720 KLPD kiloliters per day to about 1250. And our expanded capacity should come into play uh, during the current season itself. Uh, sometime in uh, December, we should be able to do. And that should probably mean that our diversion of sucrose will go up and we will be producing that much less sugar. Last year, we diverted about 200,000 tons. And this year, I think we should be in a position to divert more than 
250,000 tons of sucrose. So I think it's uh, uh, steps in the right direction and it should uh, bode well for uh, Renuka going forward. Um, Mr. Chaturvedi, good morning. Thanks very much for joining in. Uh, so, uh, assuming that this new facility will also operate at 100% capacity, what will be uh, the contribution that you're looking to make uh, to the government? I mean, how much of this will flow to the government? And, you know, as of now, ethanol contributes 20%, right? You've already said you're going to scale it up to 30% uh, in terms of revenue contribution. Uh, could that be higher still? Quite possible. In fact, uh, uh, last year, last financial year, we supplied something close to about 15 crore or 15.5 crore liters to the government. And this year, we are on track to supply more than 20 crore liters, maybe closer to about 21 crore liters. And next year, we feel that we should be in a position to supply additional 5 crore liters. So, which means next year, we're talking in terms of looking at supplying something like 25 crore liters. And the reason behind this is that uh, uh, during the uh, crushing season, we will supply uh, cane juice ethanol. And once the season is over, so whatever molasses and bee molasses we would have stored, that will take care of our run during the off season. So I think uh, on an annualized basis, we should be able for the next two, three years, uh, uh, keep on pretty, uh, ramping up our uh, Supplied by about 20 25 percent per annum. Okay. Yep. Uh, since you will be contributing more to the government in terms of uh, you know the overall ethanol, uh, what is the current purchase price by the government? And is there scope or are there conversations that the purchase price will go up? Because if it does, it benefits you. Absolutely. In fact, the current price of the government is about 63.45 uh, per liter for uh, cane juice ethanol. And as an industry, we've been asking the government to ramp it up to about 69 or 69.50, uh, because as it is, the government has uh, increased the uh, FRP for sugar. So in line with that, I think they need to uh, expand the uh, price or increase the price of ethanol. And that would go a long way in uh, ramping up the capacity within the country much faster. Mm. In fact, one trouble which we see is that in northern India, where the sugar price is relatively higher compared to Maharashtra and Karnataka, the enthusiasm for ethanol may not be all that great. But once you jack up the price, I think they will all be, uh, fall in line and they will be more than keen to start diverting to. And that should cut down on our uh, sugar uh, requirement. So the ask is that you raise the um, you know ethanol purchase price to about 69, 69 and a half rupees per liter. But is the government going to agree? What has been the conversation with the government or their thinking? You've laid out the industry ask. No, they definitely are seized of the matter. But the trouble is with uh, inflation raising its ugly head uh, everywhere. Uh, they're, they're, it's still work in uh, process. But what we are telling the government is there is no subsidy involved because you are buying ethanol at 65 rupees or 63 rupees. But as a consumer, we are paying something like 110, 105 rupees for our petrol. So there is no subsidy involved. And as a matter of fact, government might actually be making some money. So there's no reason why they shouldn't part with a part of that money to the industry, which will make the health of the industry that much better. And I'm sure the government is seriously looking at this. Back from the government. And our association, ISMA, is already represented on this uh, account. When can we hear back from the government? Is there any timeline? You are in the press. You should know better. <laughs> if we did, we wouldn't have asked you, sir. <laughs> uh, 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 we, I'm sure it should come before the start of the crushing season sometime. In middle of October or second half of October, the crushing season. It ought to come before that. Okay. Uh, you said that the overall demand, I mean, the government wants about 10 billion liters of ethanol by 2025. The industry right now is producing only about 4 billion liters, right? You have some capacity expansion plans. Does it end at, uh, you know, I think 1250 kiloliters per day, or do you have another leg of expansion, a second expansion plan that you've lined up? 
No, we certainly would have a second leg of expansion because what we've uh, we've taken the authority from our board to expand to about 1400 KL, uh, out of which we are first in the first phase going ahead till about 1250 KL. And in the second phase, uh, uh, we will go ahead with the balanced uh, expansion as well of 150 KL. So we are on track and I'm sure there's no reason why we would scale down our investment in the sector because it, uh, it, we feel it is the sunrise sector and right. it has actually ensured that the sugar sector is no longer a sugar sector, it's energy sector now. One question about the second phase of expansion to 1500 kiloliters per day. Uh, what is the timeline and the investment from your end? It's not 1,500, it is 1,400. 1,400, okay. Additional 150 KL. Uh, we would be reviewing it uh, sometime uh, uh, after the season is over. Then we'll look at expanding. And, which is okay. post this financial year. Post this financial year, all right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, for joining in. That's Sri Renuka, hopeful of an increase in the ethanol purchase price by the government. They're betting big on it, but they're hopeful that they will get a higher price from the government. Uh, at, maybe we should hear it towards the end of October or early November. And they're also planning a second leg of expansion, a second phase of expansion in the ethanol production. Their current capacity is 720 kiloliters per day. In the first phase, they're going to expand it to 1250 kiloliters per day, but they also have plans to further increase it to 1400 kiloliters per day. We'll slip into a very short break on that note. We'll come back and tell you what's buzzing in the commodity space. Manisha Gupta joins us next.